Anonymous chatting on the internet isn't just for shadowy criminal hackers and government operatives. From journalists to congressmen, learning how to adjust the privacy of our digital communication is becoming an ever more important skill to know. When Edward Snowden first reached out to journalist Glenn Greenwald, he insisted on only using encrypted communications. Greenwald's lack of technical skills nearly cost him the story of the century. But with a colleague's help, Greenwald learned how to use encrypted chat servers, a far more efficient and secure method than even encrypted emails or text messages. Browsing and communicating on the internet anonymously is difficult, time-consuming, and painstaking. One weak link or careless trace of metadata can expose your identity to the world, but that doesn't mean you need a master's degree in computer science to avoid the prying eyes of the NSA. In five easy steps, Reason TV shows you the basics of how to chat anonymously online. Step one, download the Tor browser. Unlike other web browsers that store your personal information and browsing history for corporate advertisers and government subpoenas, Tor is completely decentralized. The user-driven free software reroutes your information through a network of thousands of computers worldwide to hide the user's identity. Now known publicly through Snowden's revelations, the Five Eyes, the Anglophone allies who frequently collaborate as the greatest global spying behemoth ever known, have admitted being unable to directly de-anonymize any specific Tor user. And although they've been able to de-anonymize a few random Tor users, they still can't do it on demand. From this point on, for the purposes of maintaining anonymity, you should always be using the Tor browser when downloading subsequent applications and creating personal accounts associated with those applications. Step 2 using off-the-record chat servers. Like Tor is for web browsers, Jabber chat servers are decentralized, and unlike mainstream chat services, Jabber doesn't require you to enter any verifiable personal information to create an account. The encryption protocol known as off-the-record, or OTR, allows both sides of a chat to be encrypted. There are literally hundreds of Jabber servers around the world available to use. Once you've selected a Jabber server, create an account, but remember, only use a server that lets you sign up using the Tor browser. When creating a username and password, use random number and letter combinations for each account and never use the same name or password twice. Also, be sure to write down this information and keep it in a safe place. Uploading this information to an insecure cloud-based server like Dropbox or Evernote, or God forbid, email, puts your security at needless risk and jeopardizes your anonymity. Step 3. Download Adium. For Mac users, download Adium using Tor and make sure to keep your Tor browser open when using Adium to maintain connectivity. There are programs specifically for Windows, but for this lesson, we'll stick with Mac OS X. Select Adium's drop-down box, then choose Preferences. Select the Accounts tab, then click the plus sign to add a new account. Select XMPP Jabber. I know it's getting a little detailed now, but stick with me. The next steps ensure that Adium will work only using Tor. Switch to the Proxy tab. Click Connect Using Proxy, then choose SOC S5. Type 127.0.0.1 into the server field. Create a new username and password. You see where it says Port? Type 9150 there. Go to the Privacy tab, and where it says Encryption, switch it to Force Encryption and Refuse Plain Text. Go to Options, and in the Resource box, delete your computer's name and type Anonymous. Then check Require SSL-TLS. Go back to Account and type in your Jabber ID, which you created in Step 2. Your ID is comprised of the Jabber username you created in Step 2, followed by an at sign, and finally the Jabber server you chose. Enter your password. Finally, to test your account's connection, switch your status to Available. Step 4. Creating encryption keys and fingerprints. You'll need a key to unlock encrypted messages. To create a key, click Adium, choose Preferences. After that, go to Advanced and click Encryption. Select your account and click Generate, which will create your encryption key and fingerprint. To have an encrypted chat, a person needs to know your Jabber username, server, and your fingerprint. Exchange fingerprints over another communication channel. Step 5. To verify contacts, add a person's Jabber ID. Remember. This is your username plus an at sign plus the Jabber server to your contacts. If the contact is online, you will only be able to see them if they have authorized your contact request. Once they have, you can authorize them back. Finally, you can click on the contact and begin chatting. Though you've sent a message, you will only be certain your chat is secure if the fingerprints match. Compare them in the OTR fingerprint verification box, which should pop up after the first message has been sent. 
If every single character matches, you can trust this contact. And that's it. Happy anonymous chatting. <laughs>